the moment I saw this news, I just could not believe it. See, because in the last few years, my video and in this video, I've, I've explained why I thought that Moisho Pochettino may leave Chelsea for some specific reasons. And that I'm expecting that it is going to be after um, the said meeting that's going to go on. And the said meeting essentially is the Torium Hospital meeting, um, the meeting about um, everything that had gone on in terms of um, everything that had gone on in terms of the games that are going to be played, um, the issue of the end of season review and whatnot. Those are the things I was looking at. That if Chelsea are going to sack Mauricio Pochettino, it was obviously going to be after that. But I just closed some work, going through, of course, preparing for the shoot um the next set of videos I have to do tomorrow, going through my production, reading a couple of stuff. And then I chanced on this, that Chelsea have sacked Mauricio Pochettino. And I explained this morning, the reason why Chelsea have sacked Mauricio Pochettino um, is exactly what has happened. It is because... There were no understanding between the two. In fact, right now, I'm reading from Matlon and all the other Chelsea sources that there was actually a phone call between Baghdad, the Gbali, and Todd Body, and then, of course, Mauricio Pochettino, the sporting directors. And in there, Mauricio Pochettino was insisting set up a, a huge part, a greater talk in terms of transfers, many players. And I said this morning, said, Pochettino has, 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 has proven to be a Especially looking at the number of games of ball in the last few parts of the season. You go back and you watch the English Premier League table, the first part of the season, that's the first 19 games and then the last 18 games or 19 games. First one, let Chelsea the best thing. But since that time of, you know, Chelsea have been the first four in, in the top four. And like a lot of people, me, I was one of the first few people who believed in Mauricio Pochettino. And I always say it here, if you're a follower of 50 Manfred on YouTube and you've been to this channel, if you subscribe to the channel, I even forgot, guys. Thank you very much. Um, subscribe to the channel. This is man for the YouTube. If you are new to the channel, do all subscribe to the channel and turn on notification. I said it several times. Say, if you're a follower of this channel and you've been part of this channel for a very long time, do you know that I've been saying that Mauricio Pochettino has always been the guy to go? And yes, the results at the beginning of the season. See, I said this earlier on that in terms of everything that Chelsea have done, right? One of the things that I realized with Chelsea is that. At the beginning of the season, after the first five games, Chelsea were largely underperforming on XG. No, was no team or no England and no underperforming in XG, said Chelsea. And it's, it was clear that that team is because or more, it's a new team, a set of players uh, that were just young and there was no, um, the owners even bought them without a proper direction for them and what they wanted to do. And they were underperforming their XGs. And, and I kept on saying at the time, said, with time, if things go exactly how they are going with time, Mauricio Pochettino is, will be able to uh, put together a team that will be able to perform its XG and they will be able to do well. Now, at the end of the season, Chelsea now move from about 8th place, 9th place, 10th place, 12th position. Oh, hold on. Then they end up placing um, on 4th and then sit in the final table. You could tell exactly what Chelsea are doing. And I've said this several times. One, their ownership. If they had let Mauricio Pochettino go, it is because, for me, I can understand, I will accept that that was a very stupid decision. Because who are the managers even on the market? And Pochettino has given the Chelsea team some stability. Again, if you've been following my work, I've said it several times that Pochettino is actually not the guy. He is the guy before the main guy. So the main guy is essentially, somebody asked me that in the last um, um, post that I put out there. The main guy is going to be a proper Juego de Position manager, as in um, a positional play manager, top class guy who can um, take this high quality talent to the next level. And I didn't feel I was going to be Mauricio Pochettino. But again, in terms of stability, in terms of continuity, and given the job that Mauricio Pochettino had done in the first term, there was no need to sack him or there was no need to let him go. It is actually important to let him have some level of power or some power um, at this point in time because now he has to have a say in terms of the transfer that come in. <laughs> it's going to be unfair to him from anybody. If you say that with everything that has gone on with Mauricio Pochettino, uh, he's not going to, he's not supposed to have a say in everything that the team does, or he's not supposed to have a say in how the team plays, or he's not supposed to have a say in terms of the kind of players that are going to come into the team. It, 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 it doesn't make sense. And, and I don't agree with anybody that says that. And that's why I said several times, said, regardless of every other thing, for continuity's sake, for the sake of the fact that this coach um, is loved by the players, the boardroom, everybody loves him, everything seems to be going on well. There was the need for Chelsea to have some form of continuity and there was the need to keep him there. 
but I just woke up and then there's been news that Mauricio Pochettino is out. Now, this is it. There was a phone call between Mauricio Pochettino and then Baghdad at Bali and then Todd Bali at Todd Bali. And in that meeting, after every, all the appraisal, all the conversation that we had, the preliminary conversation that we, they had about the season, the first thing that came up was how is he also going to have a say in transfers? Can he have a say in transfers? Does it make sense? Are they going to allow him to have a say in transfers? And the first thing, um, the first thing that came out of their mouth is that no, they want to go strictly with their sporting direction. They want their sporting directors to do everything. And that means that Moisho Potetino will not have a say. Only Binka. Say Chelsea for some couple two players. It's going to be Paul Wayne Stanley, any Joe Shields, any uh, uh, um, Lawrence Stewart, any bit of the players that come to play for the team. But with what Potetino has done at the end of the season, taking a team from top position to sixth position, it only makes sense say they will allow him to continue as next season as a manager. And truly, if Mia Matlo reports this year is true, and I know that with time we'll get the full detail of the story, but I mean, the amount of first time here, nobody will give it to you because I've done an, an extensive work of what Mauricio Pochettino has said. And this morning, so if you've watched my last video, watch my last video, now go to the channel, watch the last video that I put out, and then you'll see why I said that um, Mauricio Pochettino will be sad because of these reasons, and that's going to be make or break for Chelsea. Go back and watch that video. You understand why I said Mauricio Pochettino may leave Chelsea Football Club again. And it is because of all of these things that transfer recruitment conversation again one of the things that came up in that phone conversation i am very very clear and has led to the reason why Mauricio potetino has asked to leave chelsea and then it's going to be a mutual consent and he said potetino was being accused to say chelsea players stay prepared and all the Chelsea players that got injured throughout the season it is because of his training methods and it is a narrative the chelsea pro journalists have thrown it out into the media for a very long time where a lot of them have said that for Mauricio Pochettino and the training methods, they are too um, um, stiff, they are too um, worth not all of these issues in, 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 in the media. And into the armor on succeed, and as a team, they need a lot of injuries. Now. And you cannot tell me, say, muscle injuries is down to just a coach's training methods. Yes, it can have um, an impact on the players that get injured and whatnot. But really, for you to tell me, say, it's just because of the coach, um, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, I think say, it's a big risk for the club. And like I said earlier, excuse my language, a very stupid decision to take to allow Mauricio Pochettino to leave, especially at this point in time where he has done a very good season and he's planning on going on. I understand a lot of people say, say there are a lot of good managers, Roberto Di Zerbi, Moni Adi Adi, uh, already and now Fabrizio Romano, they say, and I told you every day, I tell you, say, so who the Chelsea in common? I listen to people and listen to their addiction. Everybody throws things out to the media because they want a specific narrative to be out there for them. Narrative that favors what they, what they stand for. Um, this is a big risk for the club, in my opinion. But clearly, they could not bridge their difference. The next manager appointment absolutely must be the right man. Um, you can only wish Mauricio Pochettino well if that is the case. Oh, hold on. And I think that that's a very, very stupid reason for Chelsea to let Mauricio Pochettino well. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Yes, see, nobody loves football tactics more than I do. I think that tactically, Mauricio isn't at the top. But where the team is right now, something the psychosocial part of the game is very important. And it's a psychosocial part of it's like they be an analogy to Ancelotti. You know? As a manager, and you be an about tactics. Sometimes it's about how you can also get a set of young players to fight for you, how you can get a sort of team to build synergy. And once there's synergy in a team, you know, the team is able to play well, they're able to play in a particular focus and they fight for something very unique for themselves. And that's what Mauricio Pochettino was embodying. It, if all of those things were there, he was getting the synergy together, the players are fighting for him, the players love his methods, the players are saying, say, no, they back this manager, they believe that he's the man to take them to the next step forward. Then, that is it. Now, the question now you ask is that, what's the way forward for Mauricio Pochettino? Where does he go from here? Um, I Just this afternoon, the shortlist for FC Bayern Munich manager, and I told you for once, uh, immediately Poch leaving Chelsea, he's going to be one of the first picks for FC Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich knows that they have a very good manager, Mauricio Pochettino, if he comes in. He's experienced in the Champions League, he has played Paris Saint-Germain. Um, he has done a very good job with Tony Amosbe before, from his days at Espanyol, and then coming to Chelsea in the first season has been a good one. With this very depleted, young um, Chelsea side that they didn't know exactly where they were going, he has done a very good job with them. And he's going to be up on the market. I don't think that Pochettino will even go and rest. And um, one step forward, two steps back, Mauricio Pochettino should have at least been given one more season for Chelsea based on how the season has ended. What's next? Another manager that comes in 
for one more time when the team is truly getting to the level of winning trophies if you can't stick with your own coach then who directs this project and that's exactly what a lot of people are saying i think that that makes sense in terms of what much your project soon be and alex said this well i better break my porch my pochettino in silence i didn't think he was the right man for chelsea and i've said this several times i never thought that pochettino was going to be the number one pick for chelsea i said he's the one that going to take chelsea to the top level but like i said he's going to be the man for the middle term for the medium term the man that is going to sort of be the guy before the main guy um i didn't think that he would continue to underperform under the next in him next season i think that he would have continued to perform under the next season and the last few games peppered over the cracks chelsea are still taking a big risk by parting ways right now would i have gotten rid of him now this despite all the criticism would i've got to criticism all my thoughts this manager market is looking risky um who is the ideal position to, to fix in no particular order sebastian Hoyers, who i feel like is a top manager probably not ready deserve your beats probably wouldn't like the transfer control also may not be ready marco russell high floor lower ceiling uh, with other elite teams, Simeone Inzaghi, tough one to convince, then I'm seriously running low in ideas in there. So, almost everybody's confused, nobody knows who's going to join the Chelsea bandwagon. Mamma Richard Pochettino is gone from Chelsea, mutual consent. We had it here first. Bye.